I have always loved clothes, always loved fashion. I grew up like just shopping with my grandma all the time, going through thrift stores. Um, I love 60s, 60s, 70s. My favorite thing was my twirly dresses that I wore to church on Sunday. If I could get the fabric to float in the air while I was spinning, that was the ideal situation. <laughs> I've loved to draw ever since I could pick up a pencil and I've always loved clothes. So when it came time to decide what I wanted to do, these two things have always been in my life, but until high school is when I realized like, oh my gosh, these can go together and make a career with both of my passions. And every day at class for me at Kendall usually looks like me riding my scooter to class. I usually get here a little bit early uh, and start setting up in the lab. Sometimes I come in before to wrap some things up, do some last minute sewing or whatever. Then everyone comes in and we usually go around the room and each person gets a chance to like say what they've been doing that week and show their work and we all kind of give them advice, which is really nice. So I start with all of the pictures, all of the fabrics, anything that gets me excited anything that starts to take the idea in my head and translate it into visuals. So how can I take like words and make them pictures and then the pictures can become the design. So then the next sketchbook is all of the development and I'm writing, I'm pulling more fabrics, I'm starting to sketch things and then the final sketchbook is where I put all of the final illustrations when everything is ready and when I'm decided what my design is going to be and I want to bring it to life. So my collection is inspired by the seven chakras and each one represents that chakra. So they're each in monochromatic. There's seven total and together they're going to look like one giant rainbow. So it's going to be iconic. <laughs> I'm really excited. I would definitely say that the resources at Kendall have helped me elevate this process. My professor, Lori, for one of my projects, I was just making a prototype, and usually we just use like a cotton fabric for that, but she was like, hey, why don't we take this to the Flex Lab and have them print out your pattern right on the fabric. My fabric was pretty complicated and had different designs in different spots, so doing that helped me see where the pattern end up in the final garment, but also it kind of, uh, simplified the process. My goal with my brand is to create a line that is inclusive, sustainable, and spiritual. So I'm bringing together more of my passion. <laughs> Something really special about the fashion program is the trips that we get to do. I went to Australia and that was incredible, like a life-changing opportunity, <laughs> I guess. We saw a really cool exhibit about Jenny Key and Linda Jackson, who are Australian designers, and it was right up my alley, like 60s, 70s fashion, super bright colors, and I was just like, yes, yes, this is so me, this is so perfect. I took like a million pictures, <laughs> and I still use them in mood boards now, like for other projects, so that's really cool. Witnessing the industry and then bringing it back is really important. I feel like this, hunger <laughs> to create and to share and I think what I love about fashion as an art form is you know you can take something inside of you and put it outside of you you know you're wearing your heart on your sleeve you're telling the world who you want to be and embodying that you know literally <laughs> Kendall's helped prepare me for my career in so many ways, um, from giving me the space and resources just to develop my technical skills, um, to the one-on-one -on -one advising from professors, and then the outside of school opportunities like traveling and internships, like just all of that together. I, I couldn't have done all this without like the structure and support here, for sure.